Hi, Andrew Sheps here, and welcome to the first of a series of quick start videos for Bounce Factory. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a standard set of mix passes and basic stems for a music mix. So what I've got here is a session that was created using a version of my template from a little while ago. And the important thing here is that I have a VCA for each set of instruments. And uh, it's just food groups, drums, bass, guitars, keys, and then lead vocal and background vocal. So I'm going to use those VCAs to go ahead and make the printing process very, very quick for myself. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to take a snapshot. So you select the portion of the timeline you want to bounce, and I'm just going to arbitrarily select part of it, but normally you would select your whole mix. I'm going to say take snapshot. Bounce Factory will get some information about the session. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name the mix that we want to print. This dialog may look a little complicated, but basically this portion right here is the bounce mix dialog, and we're going to ignore all the extra stuff for now. So I give it a name, R3 main mix. I double check the file type, the uh, sample rate and bit depth. I'll make it 24 bit. And then where you want to bounce the mixes. We're going to ignore everything else. I'm not going to import or export or anything else. So what makes Bounce Factory powerful is I know that I have other mix passes that I want to bounce using this session set up exactly the way it is. And all I want to change is muting and soloing some tracks. So rather than make a snapshot for every single mix pass, what I can do is do a bunch of extra mix passes based on the main mix, which is the session how it is right now. So the first thing I want to do is I want to print an instrumental mix. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to select my two VCAs for the lead vocal and the background vocals because I want to mute those. Now, one of the key concepts in Bounce Factory is when you want to tell Bounce Factory that you want to mix with some tracks muted or soloed, you don't mute them or solo them when you're setting it up. You just select them and then you tell the app how you want to use those tracks based on the button you push. So I want to mute these for the instrumental. They're selected and I come over and this list here is all my mix passes and right at the top is a button that's add selected track mute pass. If I had more room, I would spell that out. So I'm going to click that button. It's going to say, well, what do you want to call that pass? I'm going to say, that's my instrumental mix. Now, while those are selected, I also want to print an acapella mix, which you might want to print them separately, but I'm going to say I want to print an acapella mix of all of the vocals. So with both of them still selected, I'm going to say add selected track solo pass. And I'm going to call this the acapella. And then I also need to print a TV mix, which is really simple because all I have to do is mute the lead vocal. So that's another selected track mute pass. And that's going to be the TV mix. All right. Those are my basic mix passes. And I've done them using the add selected track solo pass and add selected track mute pass button. So those mixes will be exactly the same as the main mix, which is however I leave the session. But it will solo or mute those passes as I want. And you can have a look down here in the list and you can see that we've got a muted tracks pass for the instrumental and we've got a solo tracks pass for the acapella and muted for the TV mix. Sometimes when I'm doing the instrumental and acapella, I hit the wrong button and this is a great way to double check that you've actually done the right thing. And then top of the list is the standard mix pass and that is our main mix. Now let's say I also just want to print some basic stems while we're at it. If you wanted those at a different sample rate or in a different folder, you could set up a different uh, snapshot with those mix passes or later on in another tutorial, I'll show you how you can add them all to one snapshot, but then change some parameters. But for now, let's assume I just want to print them exactly the same place I'm printing my mixes. And by the way, we'll put this into a session folder called printed mixes because why not? And again, this is just like the bounce dialog in Pro Tools. So now what we're going to do is say, I want to print each one of these VCAs soloed. Now I could select each VCA and hit the add selected track solo pass, and then go to the next one and hit the solo pass. And I would just type in the name for each stem, but that's a little bit boring. So let's do this. Let me select all of my VCAs and if I use the selected track solo pass, this would be one mix pass with all of them solo. That's what we did when we were doing the acapella 
right? We selected two VCAs and said, give me a mix pass with both of those soloed. But let's say I want to add a batch of stems based on the tracks that are soloed. All I have to do now is click on add batch. And we're going to ignore the top of this dialog for now. And this is for stems. So this will add mix passes for each of the selected tracks soloed individually. And so we're going to call them best song ever R three main mix because that's the uh, base of the name of the mix. And then I'm going to use uh, a delimiter of a space and a dash and a space. But you could easily just use an underscore. If that's what you like because spaces are not necessarily a great idea when you're going to be delivering mixes. So we'll change that to an underscore. Then the word stem. And what you'll see down here in the example is it's put best song ever R3 main mix, which is our base name. It's put the separator and then it's put the word stem. And then it's put the separator again. And then it's put the name of the first track here. So this is our example of the first stem for the tracks we've selected. If we want to change the names or just double check them, here are all of the stems that are going to be printed. And I can say, well, you know what? I don't want to call that background one VCA. We'll call that background vocals. Right, so these are the stems. I can click done and add. And now we have stems, six mix passes, and they're all based on the name, best song ever, R3 main mix. That's it. I hit proceed and Bounce Factory will gather the rest of the information about the session and they will show up in our list. And in our next tutorial, I will show you how you can print them.